हेलो एवरीवन आर टुडे सिंगल क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन एंड द क्रिटिकल एंगल एंड द क्वेश्चन इज जस्ट गोइंग टू फ्लैश ऑन योर स्क्रीन देयर इट इज लेट मी रीड द क्वेश्चन व्हाट शुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल थीटा सो दैट द लाइट एंटरिंग नॉर्मली थ्रू द सरफेस ए सी ऑफ अ प्रिज्म n equals to 3 by 2 does not cross the second refracting surface ab a diagram is also given in the question you can see on your screen uh, in the diagram a ray is normally strike the surface ac of that prism now returns to the board okay the diagram given in the question is this this is a prism If this surface is AC and this is the ABC and this angle is given theta in the question. According to question, a ray, this ray of light, if it strikes the surface AB, a question says that this light entering in this medium that is inside the prism, the one to cross this surface AB, it can have happen only when. Then the angle of incidence for this surface AB must be greater than the critical angle of this medium, that is the material of prism. Or the refractive index of prism is given three by two. Or according to the concept, this ray if strike this surface AC normally, so it doesn't bend in any direction. It Goes straight up to the surface AB. Okay. Now we draw a normal on this surface. This normal. So this should be the angle of incidence of this light ray on this surface AB. Or according to condition, this light ray cannot passes this medium. So it must be returns back in the same medium. This should be the condition of total internal reflection. And for this, this angle I, angle of incidence for this surface must be greater than the critical angle of this medium, that is the glass. So, according to given condition, this I must be greater than the C. So, let me find the value of I in terms of this theta. If we draw this ray. As a straight, and this n is a normal on the surface, so this angle is 90, and this angle is theta. So these angles are alternate angles, so this must be theta, and this angle is 90 minus theta. So this i is the vertical opposite angle of this, so it must be equal to 90 minus theta. So this is 90 minus theta is also greater than c. Now taken the trigonometrical ratio of sine on both the sides. This is sine 90 minus theta is greater than sine c. Or sine 90 minus theta is also equals to cos theta. This should be greater than the sine c. We also have a relation between the critical angle and the refractive index of the medium. That is sine c is equals to one upon mu. So we can place here. Cos theta is greater than one upon mu. One upon mu is replaced at the place of sine c, and the value of mu is given three by two. So this is three by two, and just equals to two by three. So cos theta should be greater than two upon three. So value of theta is greater than cos inverse two by three. This should be the solution of this question. Means the value of angle theta. If must be greater than the value of cos inverse two by three. In other words, we can say the value of angle theta in cosine is greater than two by three for the given condition that this light ray the one pass the second surface AB means total internal reflection occur at the surface AB. So that's all for today. Now we will meet in our next class with the with another question. 
So that's all for today.